the most disgusting thing they've ever had. Ew, his fingers are busted. expecting to do this in a Yakuza game at all when they started. How did I do this before? Ah. Yo, Tom. You hanging in there, buddy? Uh, kinda hit a wall here. What's that supposed to mean? You didn't lose the guy, did you? Look, my hands are tied right now, but everything's under control. Oh, we doing the same thing. Oh, he's dead, and he was he was still in the animation. Huh. I don't want to keep doing the same thing. Whoa! That's a cool new animation. Judgment. You wanna know what else we got in Judgment? We got sneaking in Yakuza now. At first, they were starting to add tailing, then parkour, now they're sneaking. Crap, they gotta do something or I'm busted. And this sneaking music is actually really nice too. I've listened to the whole soundtrack. Yo, you got a minute? Look at that out. I heard we got an intruder in here. Let the others know for me. Yeah, okay. That's a Kiryu like outfit for the Yakuza 6 demo a long time ago. If they see me, they'll call for backup. <sighs> Better reach the fifth floor as quietly as possible. Okay, makes sense. Ooh, I'm screwed if I get too close and they notice me. Hmm? What's up with this guy? Is he napping? In that case, I'll just walk right on through. Come in handy. Yes, it worked. Locked. 
But that key I found earlier. Not the right one. Guess I just have to pick it. I remember how we do this. Nice. Perfect. There we go. Easy. Open the door. Is that the Tommy room? This guy's in my way. I gotta do something about him in order to enter the Tommy room. Causing a ruckus after coming this far isn't the smartest move, is it? All right, let's try out that plan. Oh, I see now. I've got gotcha. you. Just go to sleep. Rest easy, boy. Time out. <laughs> Time out. Of course he would say that. I'll probably need that for something. Where'd he go? Excuse me, this is Yagami. Hey, don't just stand there. Shut the door already. So what the hell is going on here? Come on, I had you! Ah, why does this always happen? Well, here he is. Plopped right in front of a Chilhan game. You need a better hobby, kid. Come on, folks. Who wants another round? Everyone place their bets? Now or never! You know you're on a losing streak, Kosuke. Why not be a good little boy and go home? Are you kidding? I was just getting warmed up. Huh? Didn't know you were such a high roller. Where are you, uh, getting all that cash from, anyway? <laughs> Can't say too much about it, but... I got me a pretty good hustle. <laughs> Another girl with stars in her eyes, huh? Jeez, go ahead and tell the whole room. Hey, keeping it a secret's on you. Guess the proof is plain as day. Kosuke, you're one sneaky bastard. You take her money, her heart. Kaiko-san will have every right to hate you. It's lucky I don't beat his ass. All right, Kaito-san, you called it. Kosuke-kun just blew all his earnings on Chohan. <laughs> Told ya. So, what do you say we do? Cause I say we cut to the chase and have us a little one-on-one. -on -one. Huh. My thoughts exactly. Good. I'll bring the car around. College board is about to learn something they don't teach in class. Hey man, hold up a sec. I think you dropped something. Huh? But I've got my phone on me. What'd I lose? Well, it could be any number of things, to tell you the truth. Maybe your conscience, or even your integrity. You feel like you might have left those somewhere. Huh? What's your freaking problem? Does scamming a young lady ring any bells for you? You've been working with a crooked bar to make her foot a 1.2 million yen bill. What in the hell are you even talking about, dude? Have you conned so many girls you can't even keep the scam straight anymore? You better back off me. I've got the full support of the Tojo clan on this thing, man. Still think it's wise to talk shit? The Tojo clan? You mean the Yakuza? <laughs> Pissing yourself yet? You're about to be real sorry, asshole! The Tojo clan thugs got disbanded ages ago. If name dropping a long dead gang was supposed to scare me, I'm not very impressed. Son of a. 
Let's fucking go! I wouldn't do that if I were you. That excuse for a punch told me all I need to know. Fuck you, man! That last one was just a warning shot! <laughs> no more chances. The gloves are coming off right now, bro, and you're gonna get fucked up! I hear you, kid. So, I can take the gloves off too, right? real right now? Well, I pump iron at the gym once a week, my man. You're going down. <laughs> <coughs> uh, you have no idea how Don't fucked you I are. You. Boy, come here. Get your ass right there. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? What was that? I like that. Get up, boy. Chopsticks. You are made of stupid. <laughs> hey, Yoshiro son! Over here! Please, you gotta help me! Kosuke, what happened? This guy giving you trouble? Yeah, he just started wailing on me all of a sudden. He did. Well, what's your problem? This gentleman you're harassing is my client. Client? That a tatami room term for gambling addict? <laughs> gambling addict? Who told you about the tatami room? People only get in through me. And I sure as hell don't know you. Look, I don't have time to play around right now. Too late, asshole. You just signed up for a beating! Well... Uh, only one thing to do. Now you're done. Come on, where's my big move? Stop doing it! Is it not triangle, triangle, triangle anymore? Because he's not doing the move. No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I always love it when I see a new heat animation. This wasn't supposed to happen. Now you're really asking for it. Get back here. What do you want? Hold up. I'll tell you what I want. It's for you to slow your fucking ass. I remember the buttons for the QTEs. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Yagami, hold on, bro. What, do you want? what you doing all this extra shit for? Okay. If I see any cars, I think it's square. That still was kind of good, even if you fucking up. I never prefer the roll. Come here, boy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Kosuke Kun, are you done? <laughs> you can't help yourself, can you, Tom? 
For being a lawyer, you sure like to settle things with your fists. A, a lawyer? How the fuck are you a lawyer? Yagami-san, you're not really a detective? I'm a detective, all right. As for the badge, I still have a license to practice, so I hold on to it. Is it safe to assume, then, you used to work at Genda Law? Yep. Hit the nail on the head, actually. These days, he hands off the gigs that are better suited for detectives, like him. Now it's making a little more sense. Did you catch all that, Kosuke-kun? <laughs> huh? Well, if you want a closer look, I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. What? Just like the first game. Yeah, care to go for a ride? <laughs> We're gonna be buds, Kosuke. When you and your pal work for the government and just fucked over some loser. Time out! Guys, this isn't funny! Get these damn things off me! I swear this is all a mistake! Kosuke-kun... Uh, Yuko-chan! Uh, don't let these assholes con you! Believe me, I didn't do anything wrong! Who the hell are these thugs? Who is Yuko-chan? You know <laughs> fucked up, boy. Well, My name is Keiko, you jerk! And you think I trusted you? Here's the deal, Kosuke-kun. First, you're gonna cancel her debt to that bar. But that's not even my call. And second, they'll be returning every yen she paid. Plus a little extra for us having to deal with your bullshit. You're out of your freaking mind! Do you even know who you're- I have a pretty good idea. And I don't think very highly of con artists who prey on innocent women. <laughs> you tell him, Tak. Hey! That's my phone! Dial up that bar for me, would ya? What bar? Drop the act, kid. That scam is the oldest trick in the book. You don't have any proof. Proof? Do we need to spell it out for you? We've got you by the balls, you shit. Who even are you people? <laughs> Some of Kamurocho's finest. The Yagami Detective Agency. You mean... Your detectives? It's in the name. Smart guy, huh? Everyone in town knows us. They do? You're goddamn right they do. Don't talk like you've never heard of us. Give the guy a break, Kaito-san. We're still getting our name out there. Uh, no. Why does this have to go down in front of her client? This is beyond embarrassing. Look, I, I get what you're after, but give it up. That money's as good as gone. The guy who runs that bar's ex-Tojo clan. I was lying when I said he's Yakuza. Yeah? Well, I used to roll with the Tojo myself. I might even know the dumb bastard. You know he's all bark and no bite, don't you? The Tojo clan got disbanded. Yeah, but he's still a criminal! Just because his clan broke up doesn't change a thing! He's just a dickless ex-Yakuza strutting around. Flashing a pin that don't mean shit. Still, even an ex Yakuza is dangerous, right? Are you sure you'll be safe? Yeah, got this under control. Danger is our specialty. So, which number is the bar keeps? You really shouldn't. Still worried about pissing off an ex Yakuza? I'd worry more about the one right in front of you. Or would you rather try your luck? <sighs> Yo, what's up, Kosuke? Hey, uh, Chief. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be back at the shop, would you? Yeah, I am. Why, you, uh, find yourself a new chick, huh? Oh, you just keep reeling them in, don't you? <laughs> Not exactly. No? Why, well, at least you still got Keiko unlocked. Yeah, these broads will do anything if you know how to squeeze them right. You could make a fortune milking her. Bastard. Wait a minute, though. What happens when Keiko brings you the money? Oh, <laughs> that's simple. 
first, we take the cash off her hand. Why are you answering, you then dumbass? Then we on a last minute late fee and send her sobbing all the way to the soap land. <laughs> right. Sounds like you got it all figured out. Wait. Why'd your voice change all of a sudden? Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Took you long enough. Wait up. Who the hell is this? I suggest you remember this voice. Because mm. I'm about to come knocking. And this time, you'll be the one paying the price. Ooh, <laughs> that's cold as oh, ice. Shit. You're kind of insane, man. Sorry to break this to you, Keiko-san. Kosuke-kun had you fooled. No matter what lengths you went to for him, all he ever thought of was using you. You were just an easy mark the whole time. Don't get me wrong, Keiko-san. This did start out as business, but now I've seen uh, the light. <laughs> no! Nice. That's enough out of you. You gotta love. This is why, this is why I love Yagami. Come on. Let's get you back to Gendas before the fireworks start. Trust me, you'll be safe there. <laughs> Okay. You wouldn't want to see what we're going to do to that place anyway. <laughs> it's going to get ugly. You mean you're going to take them on alone? <laughs> That's always how it goes down around here for some reason. Let's go, Kiko-san. Get into Sensei's office is just up ahead. What are we up ahead? The fun never stops. Ooh. Well, I can't go to the detective agency right now, sadly. I don't know what that weird shit was that I just this did. This is Genda Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, is like a father to me. He's been a well-respected figure in Comrade for years. Genda Sensei... Well, where is everyone? Oh. Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. It's good to see you. Ah, oh, I believe we met the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> Sorry to impose, Genda Sensei, but can Keiko san stay here a while? Fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway. Okay. So, you want me to stay here until things calm down? You sure that's safe? Yeah, we'll be back before you know it. Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Saori Kun and Hoshino Kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti nuisance ordinance violation. Huh? Oh, you mean... It's a groping case? She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it, the culprit was a cop of all uh. things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Oh, now we gotta look. Are we gonna have to look at it? I don't want to see it. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. Oh, don't let me see the ad. The Anything that stops the oh, trains no, we're during seeing rush hour okay. makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today. So he was a broker and a thief. With it. Every answer he's given has been I don't recall. Like that'll do him any good. Stop that! You're 
wrong. You got the wrong guy. Stop struggling, asshole. Let me go. The cops can check your hands to see if you did it or not. Be here in a second now, so just chill out. Hey, are you filming this? Put that camera away. Do you mind sitting up straight in court, please? <laughs> A bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Does it even matter? It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. leave an impression. <laughs> well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical, either. Besides, the judge hasn't... It's decided. Guilty as charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? And so, let's get this show on the road. Well, like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Saori Kun at the bench, but Hoshino Kun insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Saori Kun's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, how'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean, he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the force, anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Kamuro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Saori Kun, who just happened to take a call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san. I think I need to go outside. I think we do a phone call before I should, before I can go into my uh, save. Or no, I think I can actually go. Mm, no, I think I can do it here. Yeah. Um. Do we not have a load game button? I think I have to go back to the main menu, don't I? Because if I do... S yeah... It says talk to Kaido... Talk to Kaido. Okay, so we need to go back... Nah. Don't need to worry about that. Because the other save is where I actually have stuff.
wonder what the semblance is with this cat. The semblance, uh, yes. Why am I still in that fucking arcade store? I don't have any money. Right? Yeah, I don't have any money to be in here. Okay, so... The deal with being on this save is that I really don't have much money left for anything. Uh, I know I'm saving skills for certain things here. You can see that skills are much more expensive to get in this one. Obviously, I'm saving up to get way more SP after battle, so there's not going to be a lot of um, things I'm going to go for there. Uh, we've got a couple of things done already here, like... photos. Um, yeah, I need to make sure I focus on using items in battle for now. Um, what was another thing that was pretty important? I've done a lot at the batting... I've done a lot of minigames, basically. A lot of minigame stuff I've already finished up, so that isn't much to worry about right now. Um... And so we're actually going to start at the batting center, since that's where I started doing things. So next episode, we're going to start doing the friend quests right there.